In this video, I'm going to reveal a list of the top voted browser extensions that search engine professionals use to improve their productivity. I sourced this list from a poll I conducted in my Facebook group, the Affiliate SEO Mastermind, with over 23,000 members. So what we're going to be looking at today is the best of the best extensions as voted on by the community. If we haven't met before, I'm Matt Diggity. I run multiple SEO businesses, including Diggity and Marketing, LeadSpring, the Search Initiative, Authority Builders, and the Affiliate Lab. In other words, I do a lot of freaking SEO. So anything I can do to improve my productivity makes a really big difference difference. SEO browser extensions are a really big part of that. The good ones can save you a ton of time and give you access to data that you'd typically be digging around for hours to find. And that data might be the difference between you making a good versus a bad SEO decision. But on the other side of the coin, extensions slow down your browser, which is why you only want to install the very best ones. So in this video, I'm going to break down the top SEO extensions as voted on by thousands of SEO professionals. And more importantly, I'm going to show you how to use them in the coolest ways possible. But first, you know what would be really cool? If you smash a like button. Since I started this YouTube thing, I've become a virtual crackhead for like button smashes. So if you could help me out with my addiction while also supporting my channel, that'd be awesome. Coming in at number five for our top SEO extensions is the detailed SEO plugin from Glenn Alsop. The detailed SEO extension is supported for both Chrome and Firefox and allows you to get super quick insights into most of the key SEO metrics for any web page on the interwebs. Let me show you how it works. Let's say you stumble upon an article that you want to bring up more information on. With the click of a button, up comes the detailed interface. Right away in the first overview tab, you get the basic information for the article such as the meta title, meta description, and if there's any canonical action going on with the page. And down here you get the word count, which is critical if you're doing content research so you can ultimately write your own article on a topic. Down here at the bottom, there's a quick link to the sitemap for the site. One thing I'd like to do if I'm trying to figure out how someone was able to rank for something like best hosting for SEO is to look at their sitemap. I'll do a find for the word host and see how many articles they had to write on hosting to achieve enough topical authority to rank for best hosting for SEO. In this case, I have 23 hosting articles. The second tab is critical as well where you can pick up the overall heading structure. This is huge in the SEO writing process as you want to make sure you're covering all the main talking points that your competition does. I've left a link to a video in the description on how to write content that ranks number one on Google. So make sure to watch it after you finish this video. The links tab gives you a nice snapshot of both the internal and external links coming and going into this article. Then we have a summary of the images here. You can check if you're missing any alt tags, a big no-no which you'll want to get fixed. Export these bad boys out to the CSV and start working on them one by one. And then we have a schema tab showing what type of structured markup exists on the article. Schema is handy to put on your site if you're trying to get an extra edge on Google, which I'm going to assume you are. I'll create a video on schema soon, so make sure to subscribe. You can also right click on the article itself to pull up a quick links menu that will let you do stuff like instantaneously pull up the Ahrefs Site Explorer view for that page. Great success. By the way, I'd like to give a quick thank you to SE Ranking for sponsoring this video. SE Ranking is a top rated SEO software suite that makes your life easier with its 30 plus tools. My personal favorite is their website audit. The two minute scan will let you know what SEO issues you need to fix on your site and more importantly, how to fix them. It audits your content, backlinks, mobile friendliness, security, and technical SEO must do's. Want to make sure your website is squeaky clean? Use the link in the description and coupon code MAT20 to get 20% off SE ranking. Now back to the video. The fourth most popular SEO browser extension is Keyword Surfer. Keyword Surfer is an amazing plugin for Google Chrome that gives you a ton of data. You can install it by opening up Keyword Surfer in the Chrome store and installing it for free. There's over 300,000 users and a 4.5 star rating so you know you're in good hands. Let me show you it in action. Surfer enhances your Google search result experience by showing you right in the search bar what is the search volume and the cost per click for any keyword you're searching for. Then next to the results themselves, you get estimated traffic for the article as well as the word count for each of the articles ranking in the top positions. This saves you time from having to open up the articles themselves. But then on the right hand side of your browser, you get this handy overlay that gives you a set of relevant keywords, their similarity to your original search, plus their search volume so you can add them to your keyword research plan. Highlight the ones that you like and save them to your clipboard to export out as a CSV file. But here's where the magic comes in. Click this open article outline button here at the top. With the click of a button, it'll use Surfer's AI outline generator software to create for you on the fly an article outline so you can start writing this article right away. No need to manually look at all the headings of each competitor article one by one. The AI gets that done for you. From here, you can select which headings you want to include in your article, copy the selected ones to clipboard, and paste this directly into a Google Doc so you can get writing. Genius. 
Coming in at number three on our list is Ahrefs Toolbar, a great extension that saves you a ton of time. Ahrefs Toolbar is available on both Chrome and Firefox. The toolbar has two different modes. It can enhance your view in Google search results, just like Surfer does. It can also be brought up on individual pages to give you more insightful data, like Detail Plugin. The downside is that most of these features require an Ahrefs account, whereas the other two plugins are free. When you perform a search, up here at the top, you get local search volume for that keyword, the number of clicks you can expect at number one, cost per click, keyword difficulty, global search volume, and return rate. Clicking on the overview button, you bring up Keyword Explorer for a deeper dive into the keyword with the full suite of Ahrefs stats. Of course, a paid account is required. If you scroll down the search results themselves, you get a whole slew of data. On the left side, you have domain level statistics, such as domain rating, Ahrefs rank, the number of backlinks a domain has, referring domains, search traffic, and the number of ranking keywords. On the right, you have page level statistics, such as the URL rating and page level links, referring domains, traffic, and keywords. Opening up a page, the Ahrefs toolbar will give you an overlay with virtually the same page and domain level statistics you saw before. But what I like to do is click on the Ahrefs extension icon up here to pull up a deep dive into the content stats. Under the content Content tab, you get useful stuff like the word count, the date the article was published, the date it was last modified, and the whole heading hierarchy. Pretty slick. The links tab is pretty awesome as well. You can click the nofollow filter to perhaps filter out which are the affiliate links they're promoting. And then you can even highlight them on the page, export them to CSV2. Next up, we have SEO Minion, a really handy plugin that really is a Swiss army knife for SEO tasks. It's available on both Chrome and Firefox, and it's free. Loading up SEO Minion while you're looking at an article gives you all your favorite analysis features. In the Analyze on Page SEO tab, your meta information, canonical information, and heading structure, which can actually be downloaded right here, as well as the images without alt tax. Super handy. Highlight all links has multiple configuration modes so you can just look at internal do follows if that's what your little heart desires. Lists are downloadable here as well. The check broken links feature will also help you debug 404s or redirects that shouldn't be on your page. Where I think SEO Minion really shines though is on the search result page. First things first, I like to set up Google to always show 100 results whenever I do a search. Who likes to click like a freaking caveman to page two? To do this, you click the gear icon up here at the top, see all settings, then slide this bar over to 100. Now that you've done that, you can use SEO Minion to just straight up download all 100 results, all their URLs and titles and meta descriptions. But my absolute favorite feature is to download the people also ask questions in a search result. SEO Minion is gonna keep clicking and expanding these questions all the way up to eight levels and download all the related questions that you need to answer in your content. These are absolutely priceless in your article's FAQ sections. In fact, this is exactly what I do in every single article I write as can be seen in this FAQ section here on my SEO crash course article, which ranks number one on Google. Coming in at first place is a paid extension and that's Keywords Everywhere. Keywords Everywhere is available on Chrome and Firefox and has a credit model where you're basically paying for individual usages of the tool. This extension does a lot of the same stuff that previous extensions do. Now buckle up because this extension does a lot of cool stuff. On the SERP overlay, we get a ton of cool features over here on the right. A bunch of difficulty metrics so you can get some insight into just how challenging a keyword is. Trend data, which indicates if your keyword is gaining in search popularity, as well as a breakdown of other related keywords that are trending. Metaverse Strip Club? Come on now. High volume related keywords, as well as keywords other people search for, and long tail variations. And then when you hover over a search listing, you get this breakdown of traffic metrics for the domain, as well as the link metrics from Moz. And then when you're in Google Search Console, you get search volume, CPC, competition rating, and a trend line, all stuff that GSC skimps you out on. You even get search volume, CPC, and competition data overlaid on Google Trends. They're truly living up to their name with keywords everywhere. Even freaking Answer the Public gets keyword overlay data. Where does it end? How about Amazon? Looking for search volume on products on Amazon? Don't mind if I do. If you're in the YouTube SEO game, then you even get search and competition data here too. This extension is out of control. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one.